Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. This is the Valder Baby Show. Thanks for joining us here Hi. live in Dallas, Texas. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. We're going to talk. Tell me. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Who do we have on the line? I'm so sorry. Jill Crosby. Hi. We're going to talk Oscar hair and fashion. Absolutely. Okay. So the, we're pretty good. A uh, little down in the, in the uh, number of people that watch, but I thought, as usual, the fashions were beautiful. The hair was gorgeous. Woody, you, what's your take on it? Well, I thought it was amazing. I thought one of the things that impressed me most was how beautiful and attainable some of these looks were. Often in the past, we've seen the carpet, and it's been so couture, so editorial, that women at home can't really relate to it. Um, and this season, I thought... It was just gorgeous hair that you can actually get at home. And I think some of the runaways for me were, as far as color, Emma Stone's color was so vibrant and beautiful. And then Naomi Watts's blonde was stunning, and I thought that was great. And as far as the looks for down and volume, I thought Kira Knightley and Chrissy Teigen really won the night as far as that soft glamour that wasn't too over the top. And then cuts, Jennifer Hudson stole my heart, and also Marco Margot Robbie, she's such a cute look. I think it's really adorable. So I think those are some of the great attainable looks. As a matter of fact, Wakefield Research actually did a study on behalf of women's Rogaine foam, and they found that 39% of the women in this survey are going to try to recreate this celebrity hairstyles at home. So um, to do so, I find like some, some elements are necessary. You want to have a great cut, color, and then you have to really work on what styling treatments and styling products you use on your hair as well. I mean, a cut, when you get the right cut that frames your face and works well with your hair texture, you're 75% of the way done towards a red carpet look. Then you bring in color and you really enhance the cut. It can add dimension to the cut. It can soften the skin, give a youthful look. Um, one of the extra advantages of color is that it can actually dilate the follicle a little bit, giving it a little bit of volume. And for women with thinning hair, a little bit of volume is everything for us, so it's, it's really great. Um, a little trick, too, is if you don't have time to get to the hair salon, use a reviving shampoo uh, for the event that you're going to. It can really perk the color up again. And then a fundamental for me is working with a treatment um, and the styling products that are meant for that individual's hair. Um, again, going to the research, 40% of uh, women surveyed said that they didn't think that celebrities actually had thinning hair issues like they do, and that's not true. Um, one out of every three women will experience thinning hair in her lifetime. So um, I come across celebrities all the time, and when I come across someone who has hereditary hair loss, the first thing that we do is we implement the Women's Rogaine Foam 5% Minoxidil treatment. It's a once-a-day treatment. It is so easy to use. It is the basis for having beautiful hairstyles. So you really want to start there. And it's super easy to find, too. You can walk into Walgreens. It's right there alongside of all your other styling tools and styling products. Um, and then for the everyday thing, the one that the women really want to know about in the day-to-day -day is which styling products, mousses, root lifters, my all-time favorite dry shampoo to really get that volume and that red carpet hair, super helpful. Um, and also just a, a note of caution. When you're doing all these styles and you want that red carpet hair, be careful when you're working with your hot tools. Women with thinning hair can't absorb as much heat as someone who has thicker, coarser hair. So reduce the heat on your tools, cool them off a little bit, you'll still get the same looks, and also don't put as much tension on your hair um, as someone, again, with stronger, coarser hair would do. But um, 
help uh, something to help you guys along and see what we're talking about is on the website women's rogaine women's rogaine.com you can find some tutorial videos and we'll explain a little bit more there as to how to achieve some of these looks and you can get some more information on that website with uh, thinning hair or hair problems um, uh, it's gone mainstream and you see commercials for it so women are now um, not ashamed of having those problems no. I think, again, when you bring this conversation into the light, as with anything, the shame goes away um, and you get to introduce this as a solution. There's no shame around this. Women who have thinning hair have been um, kind of cloaked in, in this shame. And Women's Rogaine is so excited to kind of bring this treatment out, which, by the way, is incredibly effective. 81% of women who use this product regrow their hair. 12 weeks in, they see new growth. 24 weeks in, we get new hair growing in 48% thicker. Plus, I think that their women's Rogaine is so aware of this being a conversation about welcoming women back into beauty. Um, so there's definitely a different canopy over it now. Um, since there is no shame and women are now embracing it, where would you like to send uh, us on the web so we could find out more information? Like I said, womensrogain.com is an incredibly valuable source resource. You can find educational and tutorial videos there and much more information on how to use the product, um, which, by the way, can be used with all your other styling products as well. It's not an and or situation. You get to do both. Well, Jill Cosby, Cosby since Crosby, I'm sorry. That's okay. Since you work with great people, I saw on your resume. Um, mm -hmm. Melissa McCarthy, Diane Keaton, Allison Janney, you come well qualified to inspire us to use a great product. Oh, I hope so. Thank you so very much for that update. Thank you.